Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney if you don't know me already and on this channel we have a lot of fun and we watch videos together. It's a good time around here. So if you want to please subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos that I've done. Today I'm doing a highly requested video about Larry Allen. Larry Allen? Yes. Um, so this video is meet the most athletic big man in NFL history. So this is gonna be interesting. I heard that in football they call really big guys fridges or something. A fridge or something. I don't really know. But I'm looking forward to it. So let's do it. <sighs> okay, subway. Okay. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Oh, look at this. This is Dan Connolly. The right guard. The right guard. This hat? Still going to the four yard line. People love the game of football. Much of it is due to the pure athleticism on display week in and week out. Okay. Seeing someone make an athletic play is like a great burger. It's always something you'll enjoy. <laughs> And much like a giant burger, seeing a big man make an athletic play is all the more impressive. Meet Larry Allen. This is a really weird correlation. 325 pounds. Three. Like a sprinter. I'm telling you, that's one of the most impressive athletic feats I have ever seen. 325 pounds. That's huge. Offensive linemen don't get enough respect. The media focuses on hyping up the skill positions compared to the players in the trenches, which makes sense. People want to see clips of great runs and amazing catches, Absolutely. but that doesn't make them more valuable than linemen. Now, years before Zeke was running behind this incredible offensive line, there was a man by the name of Emmett Smith, the all-time leader for rushing yards in a career. He is one of the best to ever do it, but when you're running behind a dude like this, You've got it pretty oh, good. He's Allen huge. is as big of a freak physically oh. as they come. Six foot three, 325, ran a 4.840, and claimed to have benched around 700 pounds. He was stronger than everybody, and he knew it. The strongest man. So, defensive Holy lineman shit. Justin Tuck once told a story about Larry Allen. When he would line up against them in the trenches, Larry Allen would make a train whistle noise announcing to the defense they were running right behind him. Larry Allen yes. would announce to you with a fake train whistle yes. that he was coming <laughs> straight to where you were going and then yes. <laughs> well, nothing you can do about it. What you gonna do about it? <laughs> Larry Allen is one of the greatest football players of all time. Six time all pro, eleven Pro Bowls, and a first ballot Hall of Famer. Whether it was throwing defensive linemen like ragdolls or telling them exactly He's where huge. the ball was going, he dominated on a weekly basis. But there was a single moment during his career that truly stands out. This is one of the most impressive things that I have ever seen. Oh my god, I'm excited! December 19th, 1994. Shoot, I the was late only season one years old. matchup between the Cowboys and the Saints. The Saints are trying to keep their playoff hopes alive, and going against the dominant Cowboys, they need a few things to go their way. Early in the second quarter, they get that chance. The pass was intercepted by Darian Connor, and to describe this man as a player, he stood at 250 pounds. He was known for his speed off the edge with pretty solid sack numbers, and he was in the midst of the best season of his career. But he was not known for picking off the quarterback. In fact, this was his only interception of his entire career, and he had a serious chance of taking it to the house. Oh, by the way, he's got some wheels. In high school, the dude finished second in the 100 in the state final, and with a rolling start, he's just gotta beat Troy Aikman and a couple offensive linemen. He is pretty fast. Larry Allen, who outweighed Connor by 75 Shit, points, he really caught up with away. him. The Saints are celebrating, and the announcers don't even care. They cannot believe what they just witnessed. 
You might be thinking, well, Larry Allen had the angle. He could have easily caught him. But on the instant replay, by the time Connor was nearing top speed, Larry Allen was standing flat-footed, just starting to realize what had happened. <gasps> so he was faster than him at that point. Shoot! He almost seems like a created player on Madden. Someone you'd mess around with and give maxed out I got stats. my wine today. A man as big as that, moving that fast, seems impossible. But his journey to the league was as improbable as they come. Growing up in Compton, he almost died from meningitis as a baby. Oh my and god, that's so 11, sad. Larry's younger brother was getting beat up by the neighbors. So Larry ran over there and tried to help his brother. He's and when he got over there, the neighbor ended up stabbing Larry Allen multiple times. In the words of the man himself, Got me in the head and the shoulder. What was really scary was my mom told me I had to go fight him. <laughs> and she'd go take me to find him and go fight him. Three days it took me to beat this guy. He finally went. <laughs> he moved a lot as a kid. He ended up going to five different middle schools. To get away from the streets for a year, his mom sent him to live with his grandma in Napa Valley which to him was a completely different world. On the first day of school, he met a kid by the name of Steve Hatton. After becoming good friends, Steve invited Larry to eat dinner with his family. And after learning about his story, his family told him that if he ever needed a place to stay, they were there for him. And prior to his senior year, he called up the Hatton family and ended up moving in with them. The dad of the yeah, family I was gonna said, say, this quote, sounds like he was part of the family. Just like our kids. Movie. After never even playing football until 11th grade, he took it serious when he got back to Napa his senior year. And he was truly something special. So he even though he was clearly a rare talent, he couldn't go to any D1 school. In fact, year. he didn't even graduate high school. He ended up going to a junior college and earned his GED. The coach of his JC, Craig Rigsby, was a major influence on Larry. He helped him earn his GED, taught him how to drive a car, write checks, and manage money. And That's once awesome. when Larry Allen showed up wearing sweats and flip-flops to their football banquet, Craig Rigsby ended up showing him how to buy clothes. After his two years of the JC were up, Larry moved back to Compton to continue his education. Well, that didn't happen. He never even enrolled. That's when his next mentor came into the picture. Pardon me if I'm pronouncing his name wrong, Frank Scalercio. He was the coach at Sonoma State, and he wanted to help out. He even helped him earn his actual high school diploma through an adult school, and ended up getting him enrolled into Sonoma State. In one of the oddest routes of education, in the coach's words, in August, he graduated from the adult school in the morning, I got his transcripts to Sonoma State that afternoon, and he was on the practice field. The rest was history. Two years later, he would be drafted by the Dallas Cowboys. Holy shit. The man shit. who needed the most help to get to the NFL would end up helping the Cowboys the most for about a decade. The dude How about grew that up for a journey? And as tough as nails. You probably shouldn't mess with them, even if you're on his own team. If you're a kicker and Larry Allen's blocking for you, you better not miss a field goal. I wish I saw more plays from this video. I want to look at this video real quick. Larry Allen career highlights because I didn't really see any of his actual plays, you know, and I want to see them. So let's get into this one. Three, two, one, go. I mean, this might get copyrighted too, but I don't really care. <laughs> He's so big. Oh. Holy shit, he's huge! Wow, he did a really good block there.
Oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, I can see how this position would be an underrated position for sure. Even if you're really good at it. You still won't get as much attention as the people who run the ball do. Hey. So good. Yeah, he's really good at his position for sure. Oh, this is this is the clip that we saw earlier. <laughs> That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Aye. Oh, he's in the Hall of Fame. You'd think so. You'd think he'd be in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, that's better. I'm glad that I watched that second video. I think it's going to get copyrighted because I think this actually belongs to NFL, but I don't really care. That was really cool. Right, Larry Allen, he sounded like he had a really tough childhood, which is so sad. And it just goes to show that if you don't have anyone kind of mentoring you or leading you the way, it's like you don't really know any better and you can get stuck in a really terrible cycle and environment. So I'm really glad he had people reaching out to him and mentoring him um, to get him where he is today or where he got to in his career it's really awesome so i'm glad that happened um but yeah thank you so much for recommending this video to me if you have any more recommendations please leave them down below i look at all the recommendations and i mostly just look at things that i'm kind of interested in um <laughs> and then if I'm like not super like if it doesn't stand out to me I'm like okay I'll do it later but then if more and more and more and more people like Courtney do this person do this person do this person I'm like oh geez like I'm, I'm I must be tripping or something because apparently this is really good person and I usually end up doing them so even if you've written your recommendation before just and I still haven't done it just keep on commenting the same person that you want because I do see the comments and I do notice like certain names that pop up all the time even though I don't know who these people are you know what I mean so yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys mm.